That was a good contest, that race. It was great. Now, on the um, personalised uniforms. Yeah, well, I was just going to oh, say. Yeah. Flojo Magic. style. I, I well, dread to think what you, you guys Bolt would come out with. did have his own, pretty much his own uniform. But imagine yeah. if there was a rule that everyone had to have their own uniform. So you had to submit to IAAF your uniform design. It had to be approved. And ben Harradine. Ben Harradine. I was thinking the same thing. Could you imagine some of the outfits that Ben Harradine would come up with? I mean, it could be really good for athletics. You know, we have super real-life superheroes out there. Exactly. There you go. Maybe you could throw discus in a cape. I'd be a little concerned as to what you guys would have come up with, though. I'm tipping that it would have had something to do with socks. <laughs> yeah, there, there would have been some good socks, but one no, of I my never ran in so I never raced in socks. Oh, you're one of those people. Yes, There's the results those. there from <laughs> heat three of the uh, under-16 women's. Emma Dunn taking it out, 213.46. Good run there by the ACT athlete. Now, one of my favourites... Had the pleasure of running against him. Johnny Steph always had some sort of outfit. Skeleton suit. The skeleton, the skeleton suit. I was just about to say. Suit. What a suit that Did was. Did he wear that in WA or was it Melbourne Nationals? Where was that? I think it, it was, was in Melbourne. Melbourne. Last, probably yes. the last one at Olympic Park. He had an army outfit as well, the camo. Oh, yep. that's right. See Benjamin Ridley on the runway. Coming in with a C jump, 13-0-0. Going off the 11-metre board. And he should get the white flag for that one. Wind negative 0 0.6. Oh, Do you reckon in the triple jump there's a real mindset with your competitors with what, with what board you go off? So even if you know you think off the, off the 11 you're not going to make the pit, but you know... I think it Everyone is. Everyone have a more. You, you look like you're more confident if you go off the 11 meter pit. You just put it out there. And These younger ones, cross. definitely. <laughs> I think that uh, would make a big difference saying, yeah, I'm going off the 11. Yeah. Seen some, I've seen some people just scrape their way oh. into the pit, which is very risky. But it's still that kudos to you because you went off the 11. Like um, Eddie the Eagle going off the 90 metre. <laughs> Not too much at risk. Soaring in the ski jump. A little bit less at risk in the triple jump than going off the giant ski jump. I don't know. Us track athletes used to call it the cripple jump. It's a pretty dangerous event. So that was Andrew Allen from New Zealand in the pit at the moment. And on the runway next up, Lean Morby from the Australian Capital Territory. Just looking for his mark at the moment. So I'm not sure if someone maybe stole his mark, but he's got his own mark now. Uh, I think he might be uh, remeasuring that one. Can I ask? He's just um, the wind there was negative one point eight. Would they have chosen that while the wind was going the other way, or if they decided the pits before this competition started today? Well, I have to say I haven't seen anyone use this pit down this end yet. Yeah, that's why I was. A lot of the times they. Maybe maybe the winds changed. I didn't see what the conditions were like. There were some the tailwinds earlier for uh, for Jared Cowley when he jumped his 747 in the earlier long jump. It's his Carrera Cup, uh, Porsche Carrera Cup race suit. Something really bland. He knows he's driving for. He's driving for. 